Hi, I'm Dr. Bruce Sard with the Wagon Train Veterinary Clinic, and in today's segment, we're going to discuss common misinformation or misinterpretations of dog nutrition. My assistant Cole and I have put together a list of questions, and we're going to run through those questions to hopefully give you a better understanding of the topic. Cole? Dr. Bruce Sard, is a dog able to live on a vegan diet? I'm going to answer that question in the no capacity, and the simple reason why dogs are carnivores, okay? Um, I'm not even talking about domestic dogs, let's talk about dogs, canines. Uh, they are carnivorous animals, so to completely remove all animal protein from their diet is not how God created them. Um, can they live for a period of time? Heck yeah, they can. Uh, would I recommend that you put a dog on a vegan diet long term? My answer would be no. Is wet food more nutritious than dry dog food? If you ask the dog, absolutely it's more nutritious. It tastes better, you know, just, um, I mean, imagine you get to eat a little piece of dry kibble that, that looks almost like cardboard, or you get to eat this, uh, this nice, juicy, wet dog food. Yeah, they're always gonna choose that. Is it more nutritious? Now, if you start reading the labels, uh, most of the products, if you're feeding, whether it's a prescription diet or a regular maintenance diet, most of the formulations have very close to the same levels of proteins and carbohydrates and fats and those kind of things. So. Normally my vote is dry food, now that I made it sound so scrumptious, uh, just because it's better for the teeth and I find it's a little bit easier to control weight with a dry food. Are prescription diets better for my dog? Uh, I'm going to answer that and say only if your dog needs a prescription diet. Um, most of them, and I underline the word most, not all, but are formulated for dogs that have medical issues that require dietary changes to help treat said medical issues kidney disease, liver disease, heart disease, diabetes, I mean, I could go on and on. Um, so for those cases, yes, prescription diets are superior. But if you just have a young, healthy dog that has no underlying medical issues, do you need a prescription diet? About the only one I would say maybe would be beneficial would be something for teeth. Um, yeah, period, stop there. If my dog eats grass, does that mean we are missing something in their diet? No, gosh, I get this question a lot. This is one I, I really do get a lot. Um, my answer to that question has always been no, not necessarily. Because again, think about the diets. I mean, look, most of these commercially prepared diets are formulated to contain all the vitamins, minerals, nutrients, everything they need, okay? Um, I would be a hard person to convince that they're not getting enough in those diets and now they gotta start seeking out grass. What I have seen, and anybody that's owned a dog that eats grass will probably see that they usually throw the grass right back up. So my humble opinion of that, it's hard to find this in literature, but I think when they feel nauseous, they will seek grass out to therefore empty their stomach and hopefully make them feel better. This is only my impression and my interpretation, uh, but that is what I have seen. That's what I've seen in my own dogs for the, oh gosh, 30, 40 years I've owned them. Um, so yeah, that's my answer. Will human food make my dog overweight? <laughs> no more than it'll make us overweight. Everything in moderation. I'm not a big fan of feeding table food, people food, human food, whatever you want to call it. I'm not a big fan. It's not balanced very well. Um, does that mean it can't be done? Of course not. No, if you are feeding a balanced diet that contains what they need, it is fine. Um, but the question about being overweight or not because of that food, no, it's, it's everything in moderation. If you feed a lot of it, uh, yeah. If you don't, no, you'll be fine. What are some other myths about dog nutrition that you hear as a veterinarian? Right now, what I hear so much about is grain-free diets. That's the biggest one um, because they think their dogs have allergies and they're going to put them on grain-free and everybody's going to live happily ever after. And let me just say that if your dog is allergic to grain, then yeah, you might live happily ever after. And, 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 but that's the only reason, guys. If they're not allergic to that, why do it? You know, if I'm allergic to strawberries, I'm not going to quit eating you know, steak or, or anything like that. You know, it just doesn't make sense. Um, not to mention, one other thing I will say about grain-free diets that a lot of the public is still not aware of, and, and I won't go into great detail, but there has been plenty of studies that show that there is a correlation between dogs who eat grain-free diets uh, that developed premature cardiovascular disease or heart disease, if you will. Um, I won't go into all the specifics, but you will find a plethora of information out there if you do inquire. Me personally, Unless a dog has been proven to be allergic to grains, I don't recommend grain-free diets, and that's one of the big ones I hear on a weekly basis. Yep. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today. I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you have any questions or would like to contact us, you can reach us uh, on Facebook, you can email us, or you can just call us directly here at the office. Again, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.